Hello, it's Farmer Brad, and I'm going to do a before and after our furnace install. This right here is our old furnace which will be getting installed with a replacement propane furnace. And then on the outside, we'll be getting a heat pump, but that's where that is. And then they're going to run the propane line out through here and out the end of the house. Now, out this door is where our old AC unit is. This will no longer be needed and the Freon is no longer available. It's being phased out this year of 2020. Right along here is where the propane tank is and they're going to, the propane company is going to put another tank next to that. And then, but this is where the propane regulator is and then they'll end up putting the heat pump somewhere around here might end up being up here since that's more level ground but we'll just have to see so in case you were wondering our old furnace that went out was an oil heat furnace which was the vein of my existence it would cost we would pay like 150 dollars a month year round in order to cover the cost of the oil tank and uh, that's not great. So we plan on upping my, I plan on upping my wood burning game. We have a wood burning stove downstairs and then we have a fireplace upstairs that was normally gas and we are going to burn some wood in there to help offset propane costs. But the heat pump will also work as AC during the summer, which is great and then it will work down to a certain temperature and then when it gets to a certain temperature below then the propane uh, furnace will kick on. Ideally I wanted to go geothermal but those systems start at 20k and that was just not an option for our farm so uh, this seemed like the best uh, route to go. The heat pump with the propane furnace backup will actually be getting a better propane rate by uh, them coming out and adding the second tank, which is, which is, let me just show you what our oil tank situation looks like right now. Here's the oil fuel tank and we talked with the company and they are going to try to pump the oil out. If you look at that, it's basically full and then I'm going to try to see if I can just move this out without having to cut it up, otherwise that's going to be a big mess. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll also be showing you the after, after they have it installed, and then talk about some of the things that helped us decide to go with the heat pump. A lot of it was the efficiency and the RMC rebate and then also the tax credits as well so if you really think about it it's an investment for the next 25 30 years our oil furnace had just hit the 30 year mark and uh, so it was time to replace it and thank goodness it stopped working because it could have not been safe thanks for watching AC unit has been moved.
So is it brick and then like cinder block and then brick? Or? Usually, it's it'll be the block, then there'll be a gap, a uh -huh. spacer, then it's wood. Okay. Usually. Yeah. It, dep it all depends on how re really they put the house together. Yeah. Now in the breaker box, they did run a new electrical line over to the heat pump on the outside. And then this is the exhaust that they're going to take out today. And they installed the Wi-Fi smart thermostat from Bryant. It's pretty nice. Uh, you're able to put in the cost per gallon and per kilowatt hour and it will tell you exactly the fan with gas heat, continuous fan, heat pump, cooling, all of that and then gas heating and your daily use, yearly, all of that. And then we're able to set it up to where I have access to all of this on my phone via Wi-Fi. And then if I go in here, currently the heat pump is off and the gas heat is off. But sometimes in here it will say the gas heat is 54% running. So that's the benefit with the variable speed heat pump and the modulating furnace uh, so that's good so far um, I'm very happy with the install everything looks good and then you can also get the uh, current weather here so that gives you an idea here is the final setup of the Bryant furnace so this morning the worker ended up building this cold air return up to there so that looks all good so far we're happy with the system it uh, is heating our house okay and basically we want it to ideally stay in the heat pump because that ends up being a lot more cost effective than the propane. We're able to get the Wi-Fi enabled thermostat hooked up. Definitely recommend Dick Hill and Son. I was very pleased with the install. Everything was super clean, tight, and the install looked really good so I would receive a text and email letting me know that a technician was on our way and then I could also look on a map and see about how far away they were um, until they arrived. That system is pretty cool in my book and um, they also had a great financing option as well so definitely check out Dick Hill and Son. Thanks for watching and this is Farmer Brad.